Welcome to GED Math and Dirt News. In these tutorials, I will show you how to solve many of the GED math problems using the TI-30XS scientific calculator. Welcome to GED Math in 30 Days. I'll be your host. Uh, my name is Jeremy Tinsley. I'm an adult educator for the last 20 years. Uh, I'm also an instructor uh, of, of mathematics, of course. And I created my website, passgedmath.com, and my ebook to help people pass the math exam. I know sometimes math can be frustrating. So I made an incredible ebook and an incredible website. Uh, so make sure you go check out the website, passgedmath.com. And make sure uh, you check out my YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. Today, um, I saw many, many comments on my Facebook group, on my Facebook page. Um, and it's a common question uh, on the GED exam. And it's basically adding, subtracting, multiplying, divide rational numbers. And this is an example of one of the problems um, students had an issue with. So I just wanna I'll have a short video just to explain this problem and how to do it. So first of all, let me share my screen. Okay, so first of all, it says add three over X plus X over two. And of all the uh, respondents, of this problem, most people didn't even had didn't even have an idea how to figure it out. So again, I'm I'm explaining this fairly quickly. It should be a short video. Again, so one thing you remember in math: always go back to what you know. So what do we know? Uh, well, we have two rational expressions. You can think of them as remember rational expressions can be expressed as a fraction. Um, so we have two fractions. But one thing we know about fractions: in order to add them or subtract them we must have a common denominator. So on the first term, we have a denominator of x. On the second term, we have a denominator of x plus two. So we have to make a common denominator. So one of the ways that we can do that is multiply this second equation by x plus two. Now remember, whatever we do on the top, we must also do on the bottom. And then we're gonna multiply this side by x. So our common denominator is going to be x times x plus 2. Okay, so we're going to use the distributive property here. So we have 3 times x plus 2 over x times x plus 2. Okay, of course, we know distributive property, got to distribute that 3, everything in the parentheses. So 3 times x is 3x. And then three times a positive two is a positive six over x times x plus two. Then we can go to the second part of this uh, rational expression, which is x times x over x times x plus two. This is fairly easy here. x times x is x squared over x times x plus 2. So now that we have a common denominator, we can now add denumerators, OK? So since we don't have like terms, we have x squared plus 3x plus 6 all over x times x plus 2. That was a nice, short, quick lesson in order to add rational expressions. So if you have a problem with this, I hope I helped you today. Again, make sure you check out my website, passgdmath.com. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you comment because I, I, like, I like to read the comments. I like to hear the response. I like to hear how you're doing if you're passing the exam. So please comment on whatever videos um, helped you the most. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And that'll give me the courage and give me the motivation to continue what I'm doing. And that's helping as many people as I can. Thank you. And I'm signing out. Have a great night. Bye-bye.